Now we're going to start reassembly. Fortunately, I bought 50 of them O-rings, so every time I disassemble a gun and rip one out, we can take care of it. Alright, so, we take our thing here, lock it into place, like so. And again, I am going to use a different way of assembling this. Get our spring on there. And I found this is kind of the best way for me to do it. Get this on. Now, as we know with our other things, we want this with the bolt locked down. Now the problem is, getting this barrel in you have to get this back to where this shank gets underneath this rib. So what we're going to do, and then that pops right up, we don't want that. Okay, we're going to depress this here and hold it. And we're going to take this, try to get that washer past a nasty thread without tearing it up, which it did. Okay. It's pain right in the nut. We want to ease this back together. There. Okay. So now I got this past this thing. I got to hold this. I really love this stuff. got that in. So, taking this, and we forgot to put the plug in. Alright. Okay, so let's try to get this out without destroying the washer. And like I said, we're going to have to have a different method Oh, this, this is a mess. Okay. in and down. So get this to where we can slide it up a little in there. All right. Now with the plug on, now I think this is where the problem lies. You got to try to kind of slide this thing on without tearing up the washer, which I believe we did. Okay. And now Ease this. Back in there. This is not going good. It should just slide down in there, and it's not. Which means that it could have pulled the washer off again. There we go. Part of the way. I'm 
gonna have to examine this because I don't know if the washer got dicked up again. Alright, if you ever get to where this thing won't move and it's doing this shit on you, that means that washer is... The washer's binding up on you again. I have a little bit of a gap here. Okay. And we got it to where the spring will bind up on you also. Okay. Ah, huh, that was a problem. Had the tab wedged up under the bolt lock. Okay, let's see, can we get the barrel off? Yep, and we ripped the washer right out again. Ah, oh, shit. Alright, after several failed attempts, I took this, put it back in the lathe, and its second set of threads was the one when the plug is in there, the lines of the barrel a certain way it was catching on the washers. Uh, I filed ground. I had to file it in a weird way, backwards and all this other shit. But I got it to where the barrel, because what would happen is somewhere in there, it would catch that washer and then it would just lock this barrel in place. And I couldn't go down and I couldn't pull it off. So I got it down. I checked it. I got it together, and it's just something I'll keep an eye on and look at. Alright, so now we got this son of a bitch back in one piece, and let's move forward with the uh, reassembly. You just reverse the process, take the handguard, place it over this. Okay. Make sure the detent is exposed on this thing when you plop it down in here into the handguard. Earlier models had set screws, at least this thing is shaped where it'll go. Screw your cap. Onto the end here. This is secure. The whole upper half is all set. So then you would just take your lower half, kind of line that up. And drop this in. Then we take our pins. See if you can get some to go on easy like that one does. These two here will end up winning. But this one up here is the one that's going to need a little bit of persuasion. Now this one starts to buy. Now when we get them kind of flush, turn this over, take our screws. And screw these down until they draw up. As best we can. Alright, now we have all our screws secured. Flip the gun over. And the one that protrudes, that little thing, turn it counterclockwise a little. It will just move an eighth inch. And that will get the feed ramp back up into the barrel. Now, honestly, I thought this was a neat gun. 
It'd be a neat gun to shoot, but it came from the factory. The assembled word was fucked up. I couldn't, when I first took it apart, I couldn't get the barrel off. So that O-ring was catching on a burr when they assembled it. Okay. So this is another one, much like the pump. It was somewhat non-functional or put together wrong to where you couldn't disassemble it or take it apart and then damaging all these O-rings uh, until I had to really lay into them threads with a file. And the weird thing is it's when you come down and the way I was holding that rod, the only way for me to hit that edge of the threads like that was to run it in reverse and hang over on the lathe and then hit it, file it, sand the shit out of it. And then the problem apparently has stopped the maybe. I don't know. I won't know until I try to disassemble the gun again, which I ain't going to do that anytime soon. We're ready for some range time, and we're going to take this out, run some ammo through it, see how it functions, but I'm highly disappointed. Uh, I mean, these things are showing up with shit fucked up to where you can't disassemble them from the factory. They, they got issues, okay? I mean, not all of them. The other guns, three of them, three out of the five are okay, all right? They function fine, nothing wrong. They come apart all right, they go back together okay. Um, but this here, this is a disappointment to me. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, subscribe, and stay tuned.